Hi, we're the History Hikers. I'm Dries. My name is Jente. And today we're still in the south of France. Um, we found this, these arches, these arcades on top of a ridge and uh, decided to check it out. So uh, let's, uh, let's go see. We didn't find much information. Well, the only information that we found is that this is the Col de Mouet and the Via Aquitania, so the Roman road from Narbonne to Burgundy should be somewhere around here. Could it be Roman? Who knows? We hope. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go check it out. All right. Let's go. Prickly bushes everywhere. Bonjour. Oh. It's probably medieval. Oh, not Roman at least. Or maybe it's like very modern, nothing historic at all. Yeah, but looking closer it looks Yeah, it's it looks modern. The Roman architecture. Since the rebar is showing, it's probably modern. <laughs> yeah, wonders why they put it here. But also such a Romanesque iconography. Yeah. Imitators. We are near the town of La Par, La Par, La Par, La Par. It's along the what is this road? The the six thousand one hundred and thirteen near the town of La Par in the Ode in France. Okay, so. The mystery is gone. Oh. It's not, not historic. It's not medieval. It's not Roman. It's not historic. Well, everything has history, but not an old history, this one. Still don't know who built it or why they built it, but uh, that'll be all for now, I think. Until later. Bye! <laughs> Hi, history hikers here, Andries. We are in Villerouge La Cremade in the south of France, in the Ode. And we're at its castle, of which nothing much remains except this wall. And uh, it has been in ruins ever since the 12th century. Uh, we don't know when it was built, but well, at least before the 12th century. That's about everything we found about this castle. Villerouge meaning red village, which is pretty obvious because the soil is very red. And Cremade meaning 
that there used to be like one big fire one day but we don't know which one we don't know how the village got that name came out of because up until the 17th century it was actually called Ville Rouge la Panuza, which just means that red village where there is bread mm. and then now it is the red village where there has been a fire uh, there was one writer who said it was related to uh, the last Cathar pyre on which Guillaume de Bilibas was burnt, which is indeed not very far from here, but most people doubt it because up until the 17th century there was no mention of cremado or whatsoever, but just they had bread. Okay, let's uh, check it out for a little bit. There's a little bit of wall over here as well. And then there's this piece, <laughs> which is 12th century, according to Yanka. Pre 12th century. To make our way through the thorns. <laughs> it's a big window for the pre 12th century. Just a little interjection here about this window. Indeed, it seems way too big to be pre 12th century. In the Middle Ages, windows in castles were kept small and were minimal for added protection. It's only later, from the 15th century on, that these big windows started appearing, when the nobility living in castles wanted a more comfortable living space with more light. Because of this, and the sources you can see in the description below, I'm changing our assumption. What we see here probably dates back to the 15th century. I can't show you the other side, because uh, there's a cliff. That's it. Subjective score. Subjective arbitrary castle score. Three. Yeah, I, I agree with you. A three. Not a lot left. No information. Happens. Glad we could uh, at least get to the wall. And touch the wall and lick the wall. Don't lick it. Uh, the corona. Oh. <laughs> yeah, other people might have licked the same part. All right, we were the hit history hikers. Signing off. Until the next one. It's a shorter video today, but I promise you there is lots of cool stuff coming up in the coming weeks. So stay tuned for that. If you want to support our channel, please like and subscribe, and leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions. Thanks again for watching and until the next one. Bye.